time is it? Time to face the music, big man. Not the hell again, is it? Julie, you know the poor sap who's running the factory for me? Into the ground, I shouldn't wonder. Sorry, I didn't mean that how it sounded. I don't begrudge you being here at all, you know? Yeah, well, you should. I'm a class A pain in the backside. What are you doing here? Well, I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't judge me. <laughs> you chose Leanne. She's your soulmate. She's the one that you should be talking to. I thought we were supposed to be mates. We are. Oh. Another disappointed customer. Peter. Just two months ago, you watched your good mate die. You almost died yourself. Now listen, you could have... You could have post-traumatic shock or... survivor's guilt, any number of syndromes. But if you don't admit that you are struggling and reach out for a bit of help, you're not going to get it. And Leanne? She'll understand, if you give her half a chance. If I were your wife, I know I would. Yeah, tell Julie, I'm really sorry. I meant to ring her back. I've been up the wall. Well, we sorted Jenny Carmichael between us. Oh, great, great. She were miffed, though, so you might have to do a bit of stroking. <laughs> I will, I will. Right, then. Okay. I better be off. Okay. Drapers Thanks. Mill Apartment. Yeah, just hang on, mate. What number is it, Carla? Far. Peter? Hey, Hayley. Oh, you're not driving back to the factory, are you, love? She is, yeah. Any minute. Could I grab a lift? Oh, sure. Oh, thanks, Hayley. That'd be great. He's been a lifesaver today, you know. If he'd not got that Wi-Fi up and running, I think I would have thrown myself out window. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good idea, Liam. It might be a perfectly reasonable explanation. You don't want to make a big scene, do you? Let me think. Big scene? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Are you alright, love? No, I'm not. Where's Carla? Uh, I don't know. Why? Because I'm going to smash her face in. You can watch me if you like. Oh, uh, she's hey, come on, hang on. Hey, 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 no, all right, no violence, please. Especially not towards Janice. No, because she's our first aider, and if she goes down, then we're all in trouble. Right, I'm taking orders for the cake run. Can I interest anyone in a sticky bun? OK. This is getting out of hand now. Everybody, please, back to work. Nothing to see here. I just said I want to see Carla. Where is she? She's standing here. Wondering why there's no work being done. Leanne, we need to tell. Oh, yes, we do. Step into my office. Haley, give me five minutes and make sure this lot get back to work. Well, right, there you go. You wait, Mrs. Connor. Back to work, everybody. Come on. Do you see that look? There's something going on there. Might be a cat fight. I doubt this will knock my dysfunctional family off the front pages. Unless Leanne discovers that Carla is carrying Peter's baby. You are doing my head in. I'm sorry. But look, that's all I can say. You haven't said anything. This is a conversation you should be having with Peter. Why don't you sit down? I don't want to sit down. I want answers. Yeah, well, you're asking the wrong person. Well, right now, I've got nobody else to ask. Talk to Peter. Oh, trust me. I would if I could, but he's got his phone switched off. <sighs> well, I don't know. Give him time. Time? Time for what? Time to think of an excuse as to why he spent the night at your flat. I'm sorry, but I'm in a really tough position here. You know, I want to help you, but it's really none of my business. None of your business? Yes, this is between you and Peter. It's nothing to do with me. Do you know where he is? No. Is he still at your flat? No. He left a few hours ago. Right. So you admit he was there? Yes! Because I am telling you the truth. I am your friend. Friend! I know you've tried to seduce my husband, Carla. You've already admitted to that. He's been gone all night. I really should smack you in the face. OK. You look at me. Because I can tell you suspicious minds making up all kinds of smutty scenarios. But they are wrong, Leanne. You are wrong. So why don't you get out of the factory, go and find Peter, and ask him what happened last night. So are you denying it? Ask him. He was there all night. Oh, ask him. And if you still want to fight, come back here and bring it on. You think you're so hard, don't you? I've had my moments. Oh, I will be coming back. And I'm going to wipe that smug smile off your face. 